Hi everybody, James Scarlett here from Scarlett Machinery. Today we're going to be talking about the 22 inch aluminum upcut saw. A little bit bigger than some of the models we've talked about in the past. Uh, fits right about in the middle. There's some larger saws uh, that we have, but today we're going to focus on this. We're going to talk about a couple different things. Uh, cutting uh, profiled um, architectural molding uh, to show you what kind of finish you're going to get on an anodized uh, profile as well as doing a, a pack cut of multiple profiles together at one time. Uh, some of the things about this saw that are a little bit different than the saws that we've featured in the past is this one has an automatic hood. So when you hit the double palm switch on this machine, the hood automatically comes down. One less thing for the operator to do. Uh, this saw is a little bit bigger and beefier. Uh, so it weighs in just over a thousand pounds. Again, a 22 inch blade. So the cut profile uh, of the C channels that you do, of the 80-20 channels that you do, um, of big I-beams that you do can be a much larger work envelope. So this is going to cut, you know, just for an example, because it's in a radius, uh, around 6 inches to 12 inches. So if you had something in that general profile, the saw would be great for it. And you could cut solid uh, billet with that as well, too. So uh, in order to cut different thicknesses of materials, we have an automatic adjustment right here. So this controls the speed at which the blade cycles through the cut. Uh, we also have, it is a miter saw as well, so um, we can simply move the position of the cut at any point in time uh, to match the, the angles that we're trying to cut. So there's a solid stop at, at 45, uh, 22, um, 60, uh, and then you could stop anywhere in between. So uh, not only are those hard fixed points, but then you can actually uh, adjust that angle at any point. All right, let's do a, an example of the extrusion profile. Saws up to speed. Turn our clamps on right here. Double palm switch. Hood automatically drops. Let go. And if you notice, it's such a smooth cut that even with the scrap not being held down, it stayed right in position. And then if you look at that, and also, from an installer standpoint, you don't even see the cut from the anodized side. And the fuzz was, was left in there, cut right through it. Beautiful cut. One of the other important features on this saw is how easy it is to adjust the clamps. So today we'll go from cutting this profile. As you can see, I've moved these clamps that fit this profile, and I'll show you how easy it is to make those adjustments. So if we're going to change over to, let's say, cutting uh, a group of uh, packed extrusions, we simply make this adjustment here. Allen wrench to loosen this up. We don't know exactly where that pack's going to be quite yet, so we'll just leave that. Now, we can make the best choice possible depending on how we'd like to cut these. Some people might lay these down depending on the surfaces that you care the most about. In this scenario, I'm going to choose to stick them all upright. Move the clamp to where I think it should be, right about there. Give myself just a little bit of room before I move it back into the upright position. Tighten that down. Then move my vertical clamp. And I want that to be in the middle of one of these channels. I don't want it to be on the top. So I'm just going to eye this to about where I think it should be. What we'll actually do cycle the clamp to be in that closed position right there like that tighten it up in this position here and while we've got the clamps actuated we'll drop this one as well so we want that to be right in the middle there like that and I want 
Got to be down the cut just a little bit like that. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Now, if I had a longer extrusion, I would also want this one lined up as well. So we'll simply do that real quick. Make sure this side looks good. All right, that looks great there. A little vertical spot. And we'll drop this down. Right there. Make sure that looks good. Release the clamps. Move them back into position. The other thing I always do too is I set these up in a loose position and I want them to have some good tension when it's actually making the cut. So I'm going to just simply let this cylinder drop about a quarter of an inch so that when it does come down it puts adequate pressure on my workpiece. Okay, there we go. Let's cut some uh, pack cuts. So obviously we could pull these out as far as 12 inches uh, deep and it could be as high as six inches and we could cut through that entire pack in one, one swoop. Clamps on. Okay, so now that we've got the clamps all set up and in the right positions, we're going to do a pack cut of two extrusions, and here we go. Clamps on. Double palm switch. Hood drop. So as you can see here, beautiful cut through both those pack pieces. Now if you wanted to do a miter cut, this saw is also capable of that. We simply pull this pin here, rotate the table to whatever position we want. So in this scenario we're going to do, let's do a 30 degree cut. And it actually pops into that location as soon as you get it close to 30. We lock the table in place. Let's do a 30 degree cut. Again, no blowout, beautiful cut. I can run my finger over this. It's nice and smooth. Beautiful 30 degree cut. So this is our 22 inch saw. We also have an 18 inch saw uh, and a 16 and a half. Uh, we've got a number of these still in stock. So as far as installation, uh, these saws are very straightforward. Um, we have a whole service team of uh, seven technicians that would be happy to assist you. However, we find most of our clients are able to just uh, unbolt them from the skid, place them in the uh, shop floor, and, and get them going without really any installation. But if you need uh, help, phone support, uh, on-site support, we're here to help you with any of those things as well. So today we featured the 22-inch saw. We also have an 18-inch uh, and a 16 and a half. We typically have. Uh, all of those saws in stock. Uh, however, I would say that the 22 and the 18 are our most popular uh, just because they offer so much uh, work envelope without that much of a price difference. Uh, but we keep all those saws in stock. So if you need a saw, please get a hold of us and we can get them shipped out to you pretty quickly. So um, please have a look at the other videos that we've, we've posted on the other saws and uh, other aluminum extrusion applications that we can help you with. Uh, 
We're here to help you, so just give us a call. Thanks.